Hello everybody, this is Stringing the Back to kick off Route 5 for Group D. And we have this fight card for you. So, our main event sees the top two going at each other in Ultimate Dino King and M-Steel. But before that, we have got Morsla taking a crack at the D team. Then we will see Epic Brad going up against Gazmaniac. But up first, it is Dino fans taking a crack at Diddy Darius. I feel like this will be an important round in this group. It's so tight between top and bottom. Right, in the red corner for Dino fans, we have got the Blitz type Tarbosaurus. Dino fans enjoying a mixed tournament so far, but a win here would really help them and their top four cores. But in the blue corner for Diddy Darius, we've got Storacosaurus. Diddy Darius sitting at one and three at the, at the minute. Not had the best start, but again, a win here would help thrust them back at the table. Um, there's no grass types in this match, I don't think, so... Don't have to worry about terrain advantage. Right, first things first, let's get the Blitz crits out of the way. Okay, that's a tie. Ooh, Storacosaurus gets the hit there. No Blitz hit from Dino fans this time. And instead, it's Diddy Darius getting the first shot. And that's another hit. That's going to max up the defense boost. That's going to be a problem there for Dino fans. That's a tie. This is a good start from Diddy Darius. Another tie. A third tie. And that third tie will finish off Tarbosaurus and Diddy Darius going 1 0 up. Right then, up next for Dino fans, we have got the Ceratosaurus, a little ratty thing. It's a crisis type dinosaur. But uh, Dino fans is not in a crisis yet. But they will be if the Ceratosaurus keeps getting hit. Dino fans yet to fire a real shot in this match. <laughs> Another tie. <laughs> Come on, no more ties, please. Well, the ties are wearing the Strachosaurus down, I suppose. Oh, but that's a crit. That's going to be a big Thunder Bazooka right into the Serato's face. Massive hit from Diddy Darius. Oh, there we go. Dino fans finally getting a shot in this match, and that will be curtains for Strachosaurus. Right, coming in next for Diddy Darius, we have got Stegosaurus. Now, the Strachosaurus' HP is in the red here, so I do believe the Crisis type will activate, so Strachosaurus will hit harder now. And that could be exactly what Dino fans need to get back in this contest. But one shot from that Stegosaurus' crit will kill Ceratosaurus. Tight. That should actually trigger the final fury, and it does. Oh, but that's a crit! Ceratosaurus misses his opportunity to get a big hit in, and instead it is Diddy Darius coming in with the Quake Saber and going 2 1 up. And you have to say, this has been a good showing from Diddy Darius so far. Alpha Slash. Right, coming in third for Dino fans, we've got Tank. Can Tank get Dino fans back in this contest? It'll be tough. Diddy Darius has looked good in this match. This has probably been, probably been their best showing so far in the tournament. Is Diddy Darius starting to cook at the right time? I mean, they didn't really... They, they had a very slow start against Hunter Dino King. But this has been much more like it from them. Well, that's going to max up the attack boost. That's a Venom Fang as well, so that's going to be really bad for Dino fans. It's, they've just struggled to fire a shot in this match. Okay, not too much damage dealt, but... Yeah, that poison's going to wear do some damage. 
Ooh, there's a crit though. That recovery could be crucial as well. That's going to re remove the poison. Good hit there from Dino Fangs. Not much damage dealt, but it's a good hit. Earth Barrier is going to help as well. Dino Fangs not out of this contest yet. It's another crit. Badoosh. Now, Tank doesn't deal too much damage. That's the only problem. But if it can continue to chip away at the stag, Dino Fangs will get back in this match. There's the crit from D Diddy Darius. That's going to eat up the Earth Barrier. Ooh, and there's another hit. A Light Recovery to come as well. Light Recovery will be maxed up now, so we will not see Light Recovery again from, the, from Tank. And another Earth Barrier. Diddy Darius really work... No, Dino fans really working their way back in this match. And that will be all she wrote for Stegosaurus. Right, coming in third for Diddy Darius, we have got Kakarodonkosaurus. And oh, they're starting to get a bit nervous here. Tank has really rallied back for D Dino fans here. And it's still got the protection of the Earth Barrier as well, so... Right now, the momentum's with Dino fans. And that's another crit, and that is going to put Dino fans in the lead for the first time in this match. I mean, I can't really call it a lead, let's be honest. Well... Look at this! Where has this come from? After the sluggish start... Is it going to be Dino Fans' victory? Ooh, maybe... Ooh, Diddy Darius not done yet, though. Gets that light recovery. The tag team's going to come in, though. I don't know if the Earth Barrier will stay in play. But that could be a crucial tag team. Light recovery, though. Going to heal up the car. Tank is just so resilient. D Diddy Darius just can't get a hit on it. Right, we're going to find out now. Will this eat up the Earth Barrier? Oh, it did! So the tag team did eat up the Earth Barrier, unfortunately, for Dino fans here, but... No, it's not Doom and Gloom. And there's another hit! Oh, oh, is that gonna do it? Dino fans on the brink! That's an Earth Barrier! Now, Tank's HP is below half, so Diddy Darius will get a losing bonus point out of this match, but... They were on top for most of it, but look at this from Dino Fans, and that's going to do it! And it's Dino Fans' victory over the 2022 champ! And that could be a big three points in this group. Now, Diddy Darius did get a losing bonus point out of that, and in a group as tight as this, you never know how crucial that could be. Right, on to match number two. Ooh, okay, in the red corner for Epic Brad, we have got Alpha Chasmosaurus. Epic Brand having a difficult start so far to the tournament, but they will get terrain advantage in this matchup, courtesy of their ferry. But in the blue corner for Gazmaniac, we have got Alpha Kentrosaurus. Gazmaniac's return to my tournaments hasn't exactly gone to plan, but a win here will definitely set them on the right path. Hmm, this is a tough one to call. I don't think the terrain advantage necessarily gives Epic Brad the edge here. Ooh, that's a good start from Gazmaniac. The banana surprise coming in yet. Wee, badoosh. That's the move removal effect as well. That could be interesting to see what it gets rid of. It's scissors. So Kentrosaurus will be going for paper. You can't go scissors. Okay, there's a tie. It's another tie. Ooh, Kentrosaurus gets another hit on the board. This is a good start from Gaz Maniac. Kentrosaurus does have the type advantage over Kaz here. Ooh, but it's Kazmosaurus getting a big crit. Epic Brad finally firing a shot.
But wow, not much damage dealt though, even on the Gatlin Spark crap. Oh, here, it, here comes another hit though. It's an oh, it's banana surprise. A lot of a lot of guys have used banana surprise for the alpha dinosaurs. It is a good one, let's be honest. And the dive is gonna finish off the Kentrosaurus. So, everything said and done, Epic Brad has a narrow lead. Right, coming in next for Gasmania, we got Torvosaurus. I'd probably say they're a uh, main for their team. <laughs> well, their main is Death Grind because they love the move the bets. Interesting, despite, you know, I think it's two hits a piece, I think. But it is Chasmosaurus that's still standing. Well, not standing anymore because Torvosaurus gets the hit which finishes it off. And for Slash! Right, coming in next for Epic Brad, we have got Spiny Tech there. Now, this could be a key matchup here because Spiny will have the type advantage over Torvosaurus and it's got the Dino Tector as well if it needs it. So it, and it's got all water moves, so whatever it hits Torvosaurus with, if it hits it, it's going to hurt. Now, the saving grace for the Torvosaurus is it, its crit is Death Grind, so that is a saving grace. Oh, and we're going to see that Death Grind. Big hit from Gazmaniac. Badoosh. Oh, no. Oh, look at that massive hit, but the Aqua Vortex getting triggered there. Oh, there's another Death Grind. Two Death Grinds from the Torvosaurus. That type of advantage is being wiped out by Gazmaniac. Oh, and he freaking killed that. Oh, how cross, how big could those two Death Grinds be in the context of this match? Huge. But, coming in third, for Epic Brad, we have got Therizinosaurus. It has terrain advantage. It will get the next hit in this match. It will be a crit. But those two death grinds have really helped. I think those two death grinds could be the turning point here. Massive hits. Oh, it's got Dino Stuffer. So the Dino Stuffer is going to come in here. It's going to wipe out the terrain hit that the fairy would have got. But it does eat up the Dino, said Dino Stuffer. So it's not like all loss. But the Torvosaur is getting a hit. Can Gazmania get the bonus point win? That would really be big in this group. Tight. That's going to trigger the burning dash. Another hit from Torvosaurus. Well, it was a 50-50 start, but Gazmaniac well on top now. That's another tight. Okay, Ferry finally getting a hit. An Amyangira dive to come. But Epic Brand needs a lot more than that because they are in big trouble. Attack boost activate, they no help. But can they get more hits? Oh, that's a burning dash and that's going to do it. That is going to do it. It's going to be Gazmaniac's victory and it's going to be a big bonus point win to boot. And again, another win that shakes up Group D. Gazmaniac fighting back in style. An epic Brad licking their wounds. Right, on to match number three. Okie dokie, in the red corner, for Moore's Light, we have got Gondwana Titan. The little sauropod with the big heart, as they say. Interesting field, this is. Both our guys have wind types in their team, so both will get terrain advantage at some stage in this match. Okie dokie, in the blue corner for DT, we have got Chomp, Super Chomp that is, Awaken Mode on 3. Now, whoever wins this match will go top of this group before the main event. Well, Morza will be joint top, but if DT wins, they'll go top unanimously. So yeah, lot to play for you. Put some pressure on those two guys that are after play. Hmm. This could be an important match up here. Because Chomp will have the type advantage here. 
clip off once. Ooh, that's a tie. That's another tie. That's a third tie. <laughs> Any more ties? Another tie. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no, it's a Dino Stuffer. Well, the Dino Stuffer's gone. But that would have been a big crit there from Mozart. Right, that's twice. Oh, that's a hit from Chop. Kangon will go and want to take and survive. It does survive, which could be crucial here. Because it is awakening time. If it had died, it would have given Chomp an opportunity to hit the Allosaurus. Oh, that's a tie! That's not... Well, that's actually not too bad for Morza because Allosaurus comes in next. It has terrain advantage and it will get the next hit. So, yeah. The weaker mode is going to be used up here. So it's not too bad for Morza. And it's not... Not really ideal if you're DT. You would have liked to have had a chance to hit this Allosaurus, but unfortunately, that chance is going to be gone. Now, Ace will also come in next with Terrain Advantage, so Ace will get a hit, which will actually be a crit if the Allosaurus kills Chomp. Okay, here we go. There's the tie Bomb. Here's the uh, Terrain hit. And we are back to square one. Oh, but that's another hit from Chomp. Chomp really like going for rock. <laughs> D-team extending their lead in this match. But Morsler gets that next hit on the board. I think this will be lethal for Chomp. Yep, and it is. Right. Coming in next for D-team, we have got the Ace in the hole. It's Ace Dino Tector. And it does have terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit, which will be a crept. So DT will be extending their lead in this match. But, given the uh, matchup, the Gon Chomp matchup, eh? Oh, there's a, there's a Dino Stuffer, so that's going to negate the terrain hit that Ace has gets here. So if after everything's said and done, you, you, you take this scenario. You're not too far behind. I'm getting another hit. Another tie bomb coming in. Oh, it's another hit coming from Allosaurus. Morza starting to, you know, wrestle some control maybe in this match. Ooh, but the Dino Illusion getting triggered there. That could be a big Dino Illusion. Okay, there goes the Dino Illusion. All used up. But momentum right now with Morslet. Another hit from Allosaurus and another tie bomb. They're good hits, but they're not crit hits. And I think that's the saving grace for D-Team at the minute. One big hit, oh, of course it gets another Dino Illusion, can turn this match around. Now, a tie here would be really good for Morsler, because it would the tie bombs will blow up, it will get rid of the Dino Illusion. Oh, but she gets a hit anyway. <laughs> uh, but those hits are being wasted, because it, it's, you know, that's two Dino Illusions now. Only a matter of time before D-Team gets hits on the board. Boosh! Okay, no Dino Illusion that time, so Ace has no protection here. And it's going down. Look at this. So many hits from Moore's left. But Ace is going down. And now things get interesting here, because coming in next for DT, we have got Paris. Super Paris. He'll have tight disadvantage against Allosaurus, which could be a problem here. Especially given that Moore's has so much momentum right now, getting all the hits. Of course, you know the you know for a mistress the random number generator can be. And I feel it's only a matter of time before D-Team gets some hits in this match. Again. 
and an awakened hit can turn this match completely on its head. Oh, there's a tie. Could have done with that on this. Would have killed it ages ago. And, oh my god, another hit from the Allosaurus. Moors is well in control of this match. Right, that's once. A bonus point hit win here would actually put them top. The tie's gonna the tie bomb's gonna blow up. What a showing from Morsla. That is gonna do it! The ninja attack! Finally, Morsla gets that big hit they've been looking for. It's a ninja attack, and that is gonna win it for them. And it's gonna be a bonus point win to boot. Wow, how many hits in a row did they get there? That was insane. But it is Morsland's victory. And it's a bonus point win, which amazingly puts them top of this group. Going into the main event. And speaking of that main event, here it comes. Okay, in the red corner, for Ultimate Dino King, we've got Ainiosaurus. Ultimate Dino King enjoying a good tournament so far. Okay, we don't have any win types in this matchup, do we? No, um, no we don't. <laughs> so no terrain advantages here. But in the blue corner for M-Steel, we have got the Tarbosaurus. Super Tarbosaurus. M-Steel, kind of a giant killer in this tournament. They upset Diddy Darius in round one, let's not forget that. Looking to upset another former champ here in Ultimate Dino King. Can they do it? Well, they've certainly got the tools to do it. And a win for either of these guys will put them top of this group. And well, that's not a good start for M-Steel, but the dream if you're Ultima Dino King. Look at that, Thunder Bazooka right off the bat. And no death fire either, that could be key. Oh, it's Tarby's turn to get a crit. Hmm, the lack of death fire there. Being, um, not being triggered there. Could have could have got a death fire off there, I feel. But yeah, look at the difference in crit power between the Ainiosaurus and the Tarbosaurus. Look at it. Oh, that tide's going to seal the deal for Tarbosaurus. And it goes down. And Ultimate Dino King has a slight lead. Right, coming in next for M-Steel, we've got the Penticeratops. Well, there's one crit apiece so far, but Ultimate's crit has definitely hit harder than the uh, M Steels and the two ties, with the Ainiosaurus being charge type and having the tie attack as well. So let's see how this plays out. Ooh, Pentaceratops gets the next hit on the board. But it's not enough to kill Ainiosaurus, but. It is enough to stop a Plasma Anchor should there be a tie. And there won't be a tie because Pentaceratops gets the hit anyway. So interesting, we are level, but it is three hits to one in M-Steel's favour. Right, coming in next for the Dino King, we've got Satiosaurus. Now, it does have an issue here. It's going to have tight disadvantage against Pentaceratops, which is going to be a problem here. This is where the match could be won and lost. And it is definitely a chance for M-Steel here. Ooh, but that's a tie. And the Satyosaurus is willpower type, so ties are what it, are what it wants. And that's exactly what he wants, a crit. And with the tie... The damage buff as well, and a shockwave to come. That guarantees at least another tie. Now, for those of you who don't know, willpower types do get stronger after a tie, and it stacks. So there's like no limit, from what I've been told. Oh, M Steel's forced to take the tie there. That's going to increase Satyosaurus' attack power as well. That's another tie. This is a solid showing from Ultimate Dino King so far. Very clinical as well, because he's only got two hits in this match. Compared to like M-Steel's four. Oh, but that's another crit. So despite having less hits in this match, Ultima Dino King is going 2-1 up. Really clinical display so far. Ooh, 
Right, coming in third for M Steel, we've got Amplosaurus. The worry for M Steel is because they have got more hits in this match, you feel it could only be a matter of time till the random number generator decides to level things up, which means that Ultimate will get hits at some point. And the way this match has gone so far, it could be more. We could see more crits coming. Okay, there's a hit. It's a water sword. Badoosh. I don't think it will be lethal though. So Sapiosaurus will still have a chance to get another crit on the board. Or a softening beam, that would be good for Ultimate. Oh, that's a tie, but that tie won't be lethal for Sapiosaurus. That will though. But the saving grace fault, it does waste the Futaba cannon. So that is a saving grace. The Sapiosaurus does go down. Badoosh. Now this match could go two ways here. As I said earlier, either the, uh, the random number generator will level up the hits and Ultimate will get hits here. Or the pattern will continue with M Steel getting hits. Right, coming in third for the Dino King, we've got Myasaura. Well, be weary of that crit. Gets triggered after a tie. So it'll be very interesting to see how this plays out. Oh, that's a crit. Well, I think all of Ultimate's hits so far in this match have been crits. Attack boost is going to help as well. Ooh, that's a tie. That's going to trigger the two platoon crash. And more importantly, it will guarantee a losing bonus point for Ultimate Dino King should they lose this match. But from the looks of it, they're not losing this match. That's another hit on the board. And yes, yeah, as I thought, the RNG is evening up the hits here. And one more hit, and Ultimate Dino King can get this win. Oh, that's a tie. That's not going to be enough. But look at that. Amplosaurus on the brink. Can Ultimate get this done? Yes, he can. And you have to say, it is a really clinical performance from Ultimate Dino King. And they get the win over M Steel. And M Steel, you know, they can count themselves unfortunate here. Because I think they did get more hits in this matchup. But Ultimate got the bigger hits. And I think that was the difference in the end. But well played both teams. Good match. Right, we'll have a look at how Group D stands and we get in the session. Right, that's Group D, ladies and gentlemen. Tightening up at the top, Ultimate Dino King still top with 13 points. Morsler climbing up to second with our big bonus point win over D Team earlier, go on 11. Then we have M Steel above Dino fans by virtue of the head to head. D Team on 9 points, breathing down their necks. As is Gaz Maniac now with those two bonus point victories. Gazmaniac starting to get their act together in this tournament. And then, even though these guys are at the bottom, Diddy Darius and Epic Brad, they're still only four points behind M Steel and Dino fans. And Diddy Darius above Epic Brad by virtue of the head to head. So, yeah, still loads to play for as we head into the last two rounds of this group. But, right, that's going to end this session here. So, I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta ta.